Sagittarius and Gemini. Hi, how are you doing? It's looking really gorgeous and interesting for you. Firstly, I'm looking at a Sagittarius who wants to get a situation resolved and then a Gemini who is becoming a bachelorette, maybe newly single, breaking free of any curse, any drama, any trauma, any bullshit that's going on. And then it looks like pregnancy in the middle of this. Real interesting energy. Firstly, I've got same sex. Then I've got um, male and female. And then I've got pregnancy, then I've got soulmates, then I've got best friends, then I've got childhood lovers, childhood best friends, and then runaways, running away together. Two people falling in love, running away together. A wish come true, a friendship come true. It's such fine lines between friendship and lovers that I can't tell you what's going on. So I feel like you're coming to me wanting to know what to do here. Further cards coming out. Baby, there's a baby involved in all of this. Wow. Time out. You might want to go on holiday together to Asia, potentially. And you're learning some really important lessons about what you're been meant to be doing on this lifetime. You're healing family dynamics in your home. If someone's falling in love big time. Synchronicity. Yep. Someone's changing a relationship. Someone's leaving someone else for someone else. This could be divorce. Someone could be divorcing someone for someone else. It looks like a Gemini could be leaving their partner to get with a Sagittarius that they've always been in love with. Communication's happening. You are already talking about this. You're standing your ground. You're not sure if you should do it. Have patience because you need a lot of power to own this. And there's toxic energy around it too. Let's look at that. Emotionally, the Gemini looks like they've pulled back and withdrawn. They might not be telling this to the Sagittarius because there's a lot of forgiveness and healing that still needs to happen because there's been some childhood um, abandonment, childhood potentially abuse or trauma, PTSD around something for the um, Sagittarius, which is making it difficult for them to celebrate and come together again with the Gemini. So you could have had a falling out with a Gemini who's a best friend. And you thought you was going to have a happy ending with this Gemini. And you've been talking about families, being parents together, uh, moving in together. You're so natural and loving with each other. And you just don't know what to do. It's happening. There's a new beginning coming, okay? There's this unrequited love, yeah, that started this new beginning. Let's talk about that. I've never seen that before in a reading. This unrequited love has started this new beginning. So the moment that this has happened, you both felt like oh this isn't meant to be she doesn't love me he doesn't love me it's not working we're not meant to be then you've gone your way they've gone their way while they've gone their way they've realized how much they really do love you while you've gone your way you've developed like so, so the, the gemini's gone their way and they've started to, to to evolve and go oh my gosh i feel so much love and union with this person sagittarius has gone their own way and sagittarius has gone oh my gosh this person has given me so much confidence but I'm so conflicted because I don't know how to speak on what I feel intuitively and I don't want to choose them and try and start a new beginning with them if it's going to disrupt everything and my finances aren't in the best place I don't know how to manage this I've never been for a change like this in my life this could be about gender roles as well right so this would be the first time dating the same sex or opposite sex or something different in uh, gender labeling here Someone could also already be a mother coming out and you're trying to find a healthy balance and you still want to make an effort with this person, but you feel blocked out from them. This feels a bit like a twin flame energy. There's finance issues as well showing up for the Sagittarius. You're worrying about finances quite a lot. You're pushing through though, yeah? And you've got a lot of love to give, but there's some heavier negative energy around you, yeah? Okay, oh wow. Do you know what I will say? When you get deterred from doing something in your life, yeah, it's mainly because there's influences in your network and your community, people around you that are blocking you. You know, if you went into this straight away, balls to the walls energy, you would have to deal with a lot of negative vibrations in your community and network. Now, I don't really like to preach for this, but I do always like to stand by what I speak on. And I've got to say, my life has improved immensely moving away from anyone, even if it's family and friends who... I can't be totally myself with and who I can't trust 100%. There's nothing worse than having niggling insecurities about whether or not that person is really for you or not and whether or not they're going to betray you or not, stab you in the back or not. You just don't need it. You want to feel like you can share your truth, talk your heart with the people closest to you and not worry if you're going to be betrayed a week from now or your business is out on the streets to, to Tom, Dick and Harry. 
So you're protecting yourself and you're insecure a little bit, trapped a little bit. This is coming from the Sag Sagittarius energy. Could be a Sagittarius moon vibration. Either one of you is pulling away, but that's because your intuition is high and you know it's not safe for you to be overly loving because if you did, other people and other vibrations would fuck it all up. So trust that you're being pulled away. Use that pull away to work on yourself. Internalize anything heavy. Work through it through meditation, chanti chanting, chanting. Um, um, listen to more. Um, work on your chakras. Work on your mental health. Work on your well-being. Don't focus on this person. This is a twin flame vibration. The best thing you can do, let it go. Ain't nothing more difficult than trying to hold on to what feels like a twin flame vibration because it's been going on for years and years and years. You feel the push and pull in the vibration and suddenly you're like, whoa, 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 give me a second now. Yeah, you're also d doing something new. This is a whole new reading now. Let's keep going. Okay, yeah. Now I feel like I'm looking at same-sex relationship. Something shifted in your reality. Major, major. Someone looks like they're getting divorced, right? And they want to be sincere and move towards you. You are focusing on your own life, getting grounded and stable, working on your root chakra, your sacral chakra and your solar plexus. You could be getting a new house. You could be living with roommates, neighbours. Something's different about your living circumstance. I see a lot of new people and new faces around you. A lot of people eyeing you up because you're new. And the person that you're dealing with, my goodness me, they have gone through a lot of self-acceptance about love and who they really, really do love. They've, they, they, are the, your, they are the yin to your yang as well. They, they know that their true happiness is with you. Wow. Yeah, you feel incomplete without them because now you know that you're meant to be with them and it's destined. I hope that you know I'm not telling you anything because I'm feeding you narratives left, right and centre. So I want you to know I'm telling you what I see and how I perceive it. You know if this is you or not, okay? Don't listen to just random readers on YouTube. I think they're awful, yeah? I say what I say because I see it, but I sometimes the narratives, if it's, if it's not your reality, it's not your reality. Do you know what I mean? Don't force a reading. Like, there's nothing worse than people like, that's about me. It's not, babe, it's not. You, ha you haven't spoken to him for four years now. He doesn't know you. He's got a new woman. I'm so sorry. It's not about you. Do you go like <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the mic like um, but do you know what I mean sometimes that happens so please be secure and assured in yourself knowing that if it's about you it's about you and you know it right and you don't need to like there wouldn't be no confusion I just worry sometimes guys I'm just coming back to the channel and I, I just hate the thought that people just start picking up narratives and assuming it's about them when it when it if it isn't you'll know this person that you're dealing with and it looks like a gemini right it looks like they're coming out of a relationship a long-term relationship they're getting divorced they're getting divorced for you because they're in love with you they see a spiritual career with you you are their true dream but this is mars from you this is in shadow energy music's around you at this time what's that you're wise. Are you writing, singing, dancing, listening to more music, healing your home with music, I see? Writing scripture, writing in your journal, writing in your diary, writing about the loves that you want. Yeah, suffering in silence is coming out. Suffering in silence. So it's talk. Wow, this is sensational. Right. Suffering in silence is coming out, right? And it's saying you are singing your feelings out, you are writing your feelings out, you're making music, using instruments, whatever you're doing is gorgeous and it's great for you. You keep going, okay? You keep going and doing that. Listen, oh, or that could, one of you in the relationship is a soulful musician and you need to use that more and bring that more into your power because it's healing your, your suffering. When this person is singing and pouring their heart out to you vocally and musically, it is healing them. This person is leaving a marriage for you wow it feels hard for me to say that oh my goodness karmic relationship coming out in the middle of it all for you guys it's happening and i hate being one of the readers that says it's happening because i'm i'm i've become pessimistic in love and i'm like don't believe it guys just don't believe it all right it's not gonna happen <laughs> and now i'm ruining your reading because i'm being negative so do you feel that way which one of you feel that way is that the gemini or sagittarius let me know in the comments and hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already because one of us in me included is going bollocks this ain't happening whatever leaving their husband or wife for me really what the hell 
and you're just brushing it off like you've moved or you're moving into a new accommodation you're, you're focusing on music domestic harmony this karma relationship has been on both of your minds and at the end of the day this marriage has come to an end because of this situation and your spirituality is so important here. Please go to church if you haven't been. While you're waiting and this is going on. And I would never encourage anyone to wait either. So, But you know what to do better than me. It's your life. Don't wait. Don't wait. But this person, oh, the more that you sing, rhyme, rap, pour your heart out, right? I see this person leaving a marriage. And they're happy about it. They're like, finally, I'm getting away from this. This wasn't really meant for me. They've met you you have this deep connection with them we had like the runaway card at the beginning deep soulmate cards at the beginning all the stuff i said at the beginning was a real deep connection someone is leaving a spouse for you because you are their true ancient soulmate twin flame my goodness me gemini you're coming over here with all this drama and you've got to work on your finances there we go Forgive yourself for the mistakes you made in the past. Forgive yourself for any negative feelings you have about what's going on now. At the end of the day, one of you in the relationship really need to work on your finance and get your money up. Get grounded. Get some financial stability in your reality and get it sooner rather than later, right? Because the economy is shaky. And with that, work on yourself. Work on your writing, your singing, your music, your journals, whatever it is you're doing. Keep working on that. Keep forgiving yourself. Keep praying. Keep talking to God. Start going to the church or the temple, whatever you want to do. Start reading your own tarot, journals, diaries. And keep looking after your family. Someone's got kids here yeah look after your children look after your home look after the planet look after the earth start doing really healthy mother earth mother gaia nature stuff where you're grounded go out and jump in mud and stuff and like pick flowers forage for wild flowers and put petals in your hair i mean my goodness live your best life do whatever it is you have to do and as a result you'll be removing the prison that you've kind of put on yourself by trying to avoid this and you'll take real effort with your finance start man managing your money everything that goes out everything that comes in every single day you spend money log it yeah master your mechanics in regards to money and finance and then work on your um independence and this relationship will destinedly find its way provided the other person can work through what they've gone through if they're just coming out of a divorce and they're going through a divorce now or a recent breakup it looks it looks like a recent divorce the divorce might not even be out to you yet by the time this reaches you you might be hearing in the next three days or you could have heard three hours before or three hours after this that they're just going to say Do you know what i'm just going to let you know i've gone through um a divorce but they might not want to tell you how they feel about you yet because the how they feel about you is still not outwardly exposed you could have had moments that were deep but this person doesn't want to outrightly come to you and say i'm in love with you i want to be with you i know that you're my twin flame they still have to first deal with the marriage they're leaving a marriage they have to go through divorce as well that's a long period of time for divorce and this could be coming as a real shock to whoever is on the other side of this, the partner that's going to be left. Because someone's getting left. But this person wants you. That's what's clear. It looks like a Gemini is trying to ha get divorced to be with a Sagittarius. And the Sagittarius feels it, senses it, knows it, has reciprocal loving feelings, but doesn't want to say anything. And the Gemini doesn't want to blow things up too quickly and say, do you know what? I'm leaving this person because I want to be with you. They're just trying to let the dust settle. And it looks like you've got a good friendship with this person. You've been through years of stuff together, childhood friends, right? You know each other inside and out. Your best friends, you go through a lot of stuff together. You share everything with each other. But it's just dawned on you that you're meant to be lovers. That's what it looks like here. Wow. Take Yeah, and the yin and yang keeps coming out. Look at this. The healing forces of femininity flow to me now. Freely and without obstacles. Yeah, this is about your femininity. This could be same-sex relationship as well, right? Because I get yin, yin, yin coming out all the time. And it's the and the creators coming out. I'm looking at solar plexus, root chakra, and then the yin vibration coming out all the time. A lot of wife energy, not a lot of um 
husband energy so take that as it resonates either way it, it, we're not going to stereotype because masculine stereotypes are not fair masculine can be very feminine in relationships and vice versa right so yeah we're going to leave it there i'm sending you love and light and healing manage this with ease please because i don't i feel guilty already now i've i've spilled the beans on all of this and i just hope that you can not wait for the twin flame do not wait for a twin flame union do not wait for this if someone can't show this is the best advice i can give on the way out if someone can't show up to you in the physical and say i love you i want to be with you you're the one for me this is how i feel about you then there's nothing there yeah i remember the days when i spent hours watching tarot or doing twin flame readings for other people if no one can f present outrightly to you in the physical and say oh, i want you i love and desire you then it's, there's nothing there so if that isn't the case now even though i've told you what i've told you and it is in the back of your mind i'm confirming that your intuition's right and your heart's pure you do feel this but right now it's not manifesting for whatever reason because there's a lot of obstacles in the physical so all you can do is give thanks to god that you've been able to see this clearly and that your intuition does work you do have clear sight and give it back to god say god i'm so grateful that you showed me this and that this reading has brought this to my um intuition but i ask you to take this back from me oh lord and you hold it because i can't do anything with it without reciprocation and if there is no love to come to me in the now moment and i can't affirm this vision to be true in the now or speak about this with the one that i truly love and desire then i must give it back to you god you please carry it oh lord take it with you oh lord until the day is ripe and ready for me to truly receive it for only now would it be a burden to me yeah that's how we must look at it okay stay powerful stay sexy stay strong stay human have heart for yourself and work on your financial stability that's the most important now okay you're going to be fine and I'll be back soon with more, okay? Love and light.